just like if they hadn't changed Prabhupada's books, there would have been a great deal of intelligence in the academia and stuff like that. In other words, the books, we think of books I saw given to somebody on the street. We don't think, oh, is there any significance to giving that book to that person? There may or may not be. The fact is that they got it, that's advancement for them. If they read it, look at it, look at the pictures, that's a waking up of the soul. But what about the intelligentsia? You know, when they started changing the books, do you know what happened? Colleges stopped using the Bhagavad Gita in their classes. Why? Because you know how it is when in college, you go to the bookstore and you either get a new book, if you want one or can't get another one, or you get a used book, same book. They would get the used book and it would be different than the, all the, they get three or four books that were different. They weren't the same because they'd been changed several times. So the teacher couldn't use the same author, same pictures, same cover, different contents. Okay, you got that, right? That's really, ha that's not made up. It's not fake news. It's actual, actually what happened. And they stopped using our Bhagavad Gita in the college classes. So we can sell as many changed books as we like in public. And people will read them and they'll go ga 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 and they get something out of it. But if we want to make a real difference, we have to educate the educated. And the educated will not go into a class to study Bhagavad Gita from his divine grace, A.T. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, ironically called Bhagavad Gita as it is, as per the minute of this particular day. So now I can make it an even a grimmer example. Would you like a grimmer example? Sure. 